Hey, welcome back to Red Dirt Outdoorsman. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up the battery cable for the Wilderness Systems lithium ion battery to the battery cable that comes with the Garmin Striker 4. You're going to need obviously both cables, the two crimping devices that came with the Wilderness Systems battery the heat treat tube that came with the Wilner Simpsons battery, a cigarette lighter, and wire cutters slash strippers. Okay, so I'm going to undo the Garmin cables first. Okay, so this is the side that goes into the fish finder that's going to be over here and then we've got four cables we've got a red one with a fuse we've got a black one then we've got a brown and a blue and the brown and blue is actually not for the striker four it's for something else so what I'm going to do is just cut those off so that they are out of the way because that is what I'm using as a striker four I don't want cables for another device from Garmin in the way. Okay, so red and red. Wiring's pretty easy. You just have to match colors. So you've got the red wire. It's going to go in in side of the crimper. You want to push it in there really as far as it'll go that way it makes a good connection and the red side of the wilderness systems battery as far as it'll go in there and then you're going to crimp them before you do that you're going to want to put the heat heat shrink on first that is once they're connected you're not going to get it on there so you just slide that out of the way. Again, red wire to red wire. And then we're going to crimp them. As pinching them together. That you cannot pull them apart. Same thing with the black side. You're going to get the crimping device. You want to stick it in. And you're going to stick the other wire in. and you are going to crimp them. So that they do not come apart. Next thing you're gonna do, is you're gonna put all of it inside the shrink, heat shrink. lighter you can hold it away from the or you can put the flame directly on it I put the flame directly on it and just move it back and forth that's gonna do the job and it's not gonna cause any problems as long as you're moving it back and forth I'm gonna do one side so I don't get my hands burned and then I'm gonna switch to the other side That's shrinking around the tube and the wires and the just locking that in there a little bit better so that it doesn't pull apart easily. 
you could use a hair dryer if it were to get hot enough a heat gun obviously will work really well I don't have one of those and I did not want to borrow a buddy's but that has them on their secure it's not going to come across come off and then later I'm going to wrap all of this with electrical tape I probably wouldn't have to but I don't like these wires being that loose and you're gonna have to have this fuse on there so you can't cut it short because this is short you want that fuse in line I hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down in the corner and next we will be using and demonstrating the different features of the Garmin Striker 4 and the Wilderness Systems battery in use. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time on Red Dirt Outdoorsman.